a bigger, better, brighter life, and could I... A bigger, better, brighter life, and could I somehow learn... Only time will tell There's still time to get a life To make myself a better life And learn to We should have Whoa. applause after Whoa. that, really, shouldn't Whoa. we? It makes the hairs on the back Anthony of the neck stand Anthony Newley, up. pop yes. idol. You look a bit miserable there. <laughs> yes, I do. I, but only for money. Listen, yeah. that is... That uh, is fabulous, and we are hearing uh, such terrific things about this production. We yeah. say it's going to the West End, but it's been around Yes, the I mean, we've been touring it for four years, and it's been a definite crowd pleaser, I must say. Yeah. Uh, and eventually, we, we are coming to, to London. We're playing the Dominion, as you probably know. As we saw yeah. pictures in the paper this yeah. morning, actually, in fact, of you there in the middle of summer yes. with all this snow and everything. I know. Now, that was made by a machine, and it tasted very <laughs> unlike snow. I think it was probably made up it, of I chemicals and stuff. Yeah. And it did get in the eyes and the mouth, but mm. uh, as I say, <laughs> performers do as they're told. Yes. <laughs> and they get paid for it. That's good. I and mean, of course, they're going to be opening. I know because you can get tickets from now. Because it's, it's yes, in November, the box office, isn't it? I've actually, been told to say the box office is locked up. But it's November. It actually starts there. Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It'll be fun to be in the West End again. I haven't been there since what '74, yeah. with the good old battle days. So but I mean, really it's, this is all kind of the completion of a bit of a circle because I mean, it's not your first Dickens was. Oh, yes, my first Dickens was Oliver Twist. And playing the, the Artful, artful Dodger. Dodger. Yes, yes. yes. Working That's, with the great Alec We, get, we have a picture of you there as, right, the, yeah, as the yeah. Artful Dodger. Oh, yes. Great yes. hat. <laughs> yes, I don't know if, if I, I mentioned it before, but there was a nut up my nose there. There's a, a tiny nut. nut. Yes. <laughs> David, David Lean thought I looked a little too pretty, so he had a hazelnut <laughs> uh, put up this side of the nose, which put the little face off Dude, a bit. Lucky he didn't have to children. play the godfather. He had to have a golf bag in his mouth, didn't he? Oh, no, no. <laughs> he, put, <laughs> he put Kleenex in his mouth. Oh, dear. Changing it, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, but no, that is exactly full circle round. So from doing yes, that to doing but I mean, English actors really have been served very well by Mr. Dickens, if you think about it. I mean, mm. so many of his plays become movies and uh, musicals. He's yeah. he's good stuff. Yeah. You spent so many years though in America, haven't you? As well, yes, to twenty-two come back here. wonderful years, uh, and done phenomenally well out there too. They were very generous to the old fellow. Yes, I mean, I spent fifteen years in Vegas mm -hmm. as a singer, mm -hmm. entertainer, but um, it felt time to come home in about eighty-nine. And um, I've been, we, we've been here ever since. Mm. All this showbiz thing, it sort of stemmed from uh, your days as an evacuee. Yes. Uh, Little Anthony, your, yes, your second, yes, yes. your second, the second time you were shifted off, it wasn't that people didn't want you, it was just that no, you went no, home no, and no, it was safe. Bugs started it, for Hitler me. didn't want us, of course, yeah. he sent over the doodlebugs, but we were billeted the second time with a wonderful um, man, a music hall entertainer and writer mm -hmm. of his own material. And he uh, called George Pescott, a wonderful man in Morecambe. And then he, he had myself and my cousin and our friend doing uh, charades and things that we'd never done. I mean, these yeah. little cockney kids off the street. And he instigated this thing of hearing applause. And I mean, I guess as a kid, I must have said, I like that. I'd like to do that for a living. And I think that's really where it came from. I think George, bless you, George, I think he uh, instigated And that. the pop idol thing, I mean, you, you did oh, a song which turned you into a pop idol, but it wasn't exactly... I cannot tell you what fun it was to be a rock though, and roll singer. It's mobbed and things, oh. you out and about. And touched. <laughs> <laughs> Girls would touch you, it was so exciting. Did you do that now? No, no, it's all over now. Girls don't do touch older men. <laughs> did you ever succumb to their charms, because they were chasing you everywhere? Can I count the ways? <laughs> 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 I tell you, it's very seductive to be adored by young women. I, I mean, wonderful. as a young man, I mean, mm. it's not bad now, but in then, in those <laughs> days, when one had the vigour, it was mm. just, I remember being at a railway station once, being forced up against the wall by a crowd of at least 300 girls, and it took weeks to get me out of there. He just, <laughs> <laughs> he only dreams of these kind of things, don't you? Dream on. <laughs> no, dream I'm still waiting. No, but it is very, mother loves very me. smashy. Yeah, but what about in America, when you're actually singing on stage, did you find you had a lot of fans backstage after you 
performed, as they uh, say. Yes, you don't get a lot of that in Vegas, I must say. Um, in the early days of Vegas, when, when the Mafia still ran it, it was very exciting. Uh, but when they moved them out and got the Mormons in, the whole town became slightly a bit, <laughs> straight up. Yes, it was very straight up. But that's the way it goes yeah. in But in the old days, Vegas was where Hollywood went to play. Mm -hmm. And you met every star you'd ever wanted to meet. But uh, as I say, when the mob was kicked out, it became a little up. Type, rather like a sort of grown-up Disneyland. Talking about backstages and all the rest of it, that was actually where you met Joan Collins that we've been lucky enough oh, no, to chat no. to in a number not, of occasions. That not, was not, not in, in Vegas. No, 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 that was in this country. Yeah. I met Joan yeah. backstage at Stop the World I Want to Get yeah. Off. Yeah. Yeah. She came round with R.J. Wagner, mm -hmm. uh, a mutual chum, and uh, I went to watch her making a film. It was the last road picture with, with Bob Hope and uh, Bing Crosby, and Joan was the, the lady in it. And, yeah. uh, I'd, of course, a daughter like everybody had. I'd, as a younger man, I'd been dribbling at her picture, you know, in magazines for years. And to actually meet Joan Collins was extraordinary. Yeah. And, uh, but we weren't married till two or three years. Yeah. Yeah. You've stayed and pals and you still talk oh, yes, to each other, yes, yes. sharing well, we the children. Yes, yes we have two yeah. wonderful yeah. kids. And wasn't it after you actually split up with Joan, you decided to trace your, your dad? Because you'd never known your dad, Oh, had that you? came about, yes. I mean, I don't know really why one did that, but there comes, I've been very lucky. I've, I had a lot of help from somewhere. But I, I was in LA and I thought, my dad, if he's still alive, must be of an age. And mm. if I'm going to find him, you know, I better do it now. One phone call to a, an English detective agency. Yeah. They found him in one week, a man who I'd wanted to meet all my life. Oh. And I was very lucky. I found him, brought him to LA. Uh, he and mum got to know each other again after all those years. Uh, but it didn't work out. I wish no, it had. No, but you were able it to spend lovely. time. Yeah, were able to spend but time. I knew him and I met him. And, and for that a boy, so very important to meet yeah. the man. You know. It has been lovely to meet you. Bless you. I Thank have you enjoyed much. talking Every to you both. Every success is screwed. Thank you. Yes. Give my regards to Dick and Judy. And <laughs> say, we will. We will. Say we, we will. didn't miss okay. them a bit. <laughs> right now, it's getting warmer. The heat waves are due to begin apparently in earnest from tomorrow. So here's Steve Watley with some ideas how to keep your cool.